see me. No. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Bye-bye. Big day today, y'all. I'm I'm leaving again. So I am rushing right now. I'm in a I'm in a boggery of uh, trying to get everything together. We're we'll getting into that more in a second. First thing I I gotta get my truck uh, oil changed, do a few errands. I gotta go up to the Guggen HQ. Also gotta go give a gift to a very special friend of mine that you know, and he's also got a gift for me. And we're gonna go show you that right now. Right up here at the HQ, trying to learn how to pop a wheelie. Always wanted to learn how to do that. Okay, well, maybe motorcycles aren't for me. By the way, everybody, today's video is a sponsored video. And I will get to that in just a minute, but Cove Speakers is sponsoring uh, today's vlog. And I've shown you guys these speakers before. I use them all the time in my workshop, in my dangle cave. Uh, so I'll show you how they work here in just a second, but I've got an extra special surprise for my good buddy, Lunkers TV, who's, uh, who's about to meet me up here at HQ. So I got him, I got him a shirt on the internet. It's kind of goofy. Uh, but I just, I saw it and I was like, yeah, that just sums up. That sums up my old buddy Rob. Look at that. Elkaholic. Is that, I mean, this man comes to tears when he gets out in the woods and encounters the elk. As soon as he got back, he was already talking about next year. He's like, oh dude, next year, I'm already ready. I'm already pre prepping for the next time I go out. I was like, oh my gosh. So anyway, I got him this. And I had an extra uh, food saver at my house. I love these things. They're great for outdoors. If you're a fisherman, if you're a hunter, you need to save your, your catches and uh, whatever you get out there in the outdoors. You know, maybe you're like Rob and Sarah, and they don't, they're not digging into elk for, you know, a few months down the road or a year down the road, they've got extra elk. So I got him one of these big food savers so that he can Ziploc his catches because he told me he's bringing up He's bringing me up some elk here today, which I've never had before. I'm super excited to try it. And we're probably gonna try it here tonight if it'll on thaw. But basically, you seal up your catches and your, and your meats, and you can have them way down the road. And every alcoholic needs a food saver system. Oh, hold up a second here. Just getting the power washer out. I was about to clean up the old travel wagon. You know, so it'd be a little bit nicer for the wife. And I come over here, start messing around with the water, power washer, and go over to the faucet. Wow, bam! There's a daggum tarantula sitting over here by the rug. I hardly ever see these here in this part of Texas. I mean, what is that's either the biggest wolf spider on earth, or that's a tarantula. Man, we have these bugs here at the warehouse. Sometimes uh, they just—I mean, it's crazy. Look at that one right there. I don't—I don't even know what that is. Maybe that was a praying mantis some point. Who it is. It's my extra special friend I never ever see. Hey, thank you for my meat, first of all. Did you touch it? I did touch it. That's I put cool. it in my cooler. <clears throat> That's pure man meat, you know. It's a, yeah. When you eat that, you basically become I killed a that man. thing last week. Cut it open. <sighs> Listen, I don't know if you saw this already, but I'd like to give you that. I mean, that's I just, know. that's kind of a goof, you know. I know you got your own line of merch and everything, but. I don't have my own line of I, merch. Hey, look at that. It says alcoholic. Where'd you get this? It's so true. I found it on the internet, man. You can yeah. find anything out there. <laughs> you goof. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? I mean, you could at least, you know, that's good. sleep like, in it or I something. Like, don't Be a sleeper. That. I wouldn't wear that. And then. You know, you gave me these bags of meat that were in Ziplocs, and I was like, dude, yeah. this guy needs one of these. Dude, did you really give me this? Oh, yeah, that's for you, bud. And you got some extra, uh, some suckies. Dude, Sucky I could bags. have actually used this to put your meat inside of I, one of these bags. What you need to do is you need to carry it in your adventure wagon, wherever that is right now, and you need to just Ziploc them straight off the gap, or however they say that, straight out of the gate. Like, do it right there, on site. And then it's good, you know, for all your like back straps and your loins. And then you just take your other stuff and get it ground up. Ground up. You actually have a hamburger, non-processed hamburger meat. Oh, I got you. 
You gave me the you gave me the loin burgers, we, right? It's like the backstrap. Best. Oh, okay. Backstrap. This is backstrap. Ground. Yeah. Good. Good. Fantastic. Well, I thought that was a fair trade. You know, meat for meat saber. I should have had this. Pretty Thank good. This yeah, awesome. well, now you got one. And it's camouflage, so they can't see you coming. <laughs> this is also a behind the scenes photo day. Backwater Bryant, one of the premier photographers of the outdoor world. He's here. He's on Team Guggen. And uh, we're doing some, some merch picks today. Merch. Some different stuff. If you're wondering why I just changed shirts, we were just taking some photos in there. So we got some new stuff that's coming out. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what's next. Behind the scenes, 2019, Guggen Squad HQ, photo sesh, Backwater Bryant. Can I pull this back? On the trigger. Yeah, you can. You can absolutely shoot that bow, Rob. I don't have my... Uh... You've only got one arrow, so that's, uh, let me that's see it. Here. The other one went through the. Uh, ex it exited the building. I need right here. <laughs> okay, Rob. It's about 30? Yeah, so yeah. you probably want to put that top pin. Grant, you might want to step back. All right. Just for a sec. So you're telling me this is a little longer. I'm, I'm telling you, it's a little lengthy. A little lengthy. Is, is this 30, you think? So put that 30 pin. Here's the this is 20? Our peeps this might be a little different. Okay, so we're gonna scoot back just a little bit. Alrighty. Got it. Looking okay through that peep? I think we can shoot each other's bows. Photos are done, ladies and gentlemen. There is a lot left to do today. We've gotta to pack up everything. Me and OSG, we gotta we gotta team up, we gotta organize. And I've gotta to head to my very special place where all my dangle supply is, and I gotta get ready for some serious fishing, going deep into the woods. Follow me there, let's go. It is go time, y'all. Back from HQ, back to my own little HQ. The dangle cave, as I like to call it. I'm also working on some wood projects in here, but they're all on pause right now, getting ready for this big trip. Me and OSG, we're going back up to the mountains and we're gonna explore, we're going deep. She's never been up there before. She's never even been primitive camping before. This should get real, real quick. So you guys are gonna enjoy it. But what I wanted to show you is this, uh, well this is everything I'm getting ready right now, but this is typically how I use this Cove speaker. And I literally use it all the time out here in my dangle cave. And all you gotta do is just hold the button to turn it on and it will connect automatically to your device. It takes like two seconds to hook up and the sound is incredible. I listen to a lot of podcasts, I listen to a lot of books and if I'm listening to my truck like I was on the way home, you know, I can come back in here and just start listening to it. Probably get copyrighted if I play it in here, but the thing's already connected, it's ready to go. I'm just gonna show you guys some of the sound that comes out of it. It has the X bass feature. So you get incredible deep sound. It's just rich out of this little tiny thing. It's super portable. You know, it can last up to eight hours on a single charge. Oh, hey, didn't know I could do that, did you? Kids are doing stuff like that nowadays. I'm not really sure what the latest dance moves are, but I do know that the speaker is um, it's really incredible, especially with the discount they are giving you. Go visit the link down below. Just go click it. It's at the top of the description. 65% off on this speaker. And it's, super, it's just super portable and super good. I don't really don't take mine anywhere. I just kind of leave it in here. And it works up to 30 feet away from, from my phone. So sometimes I just come out here and I sit and organize tackle like I'm literally about to do. So I just want to show you a real life situation. This is how I use my Cove speaker. And if you've got your own little man cave or you want to just take it around the house or the boat or camp. So a big shout out to Cove for sponsoring today's video and just a neat little rugged solid sound device. Good job. Visit the link, top of the description, get you one. Now I am sitting here organizing all of my tackle that I'm going to take to uh, the mountains. I mean two different techniques, you're going to be fly fishing or fishing um, you know, basically light tackle, light fishing gear, throwing little spoons, maybe some little top waters, but most likely spoons. That seemed to be the deal, especially for the salmon 
the last time I was there. So I, when I got back, I was really surprised. Someone had actually sent in some spoons, and they sent them to me for crappie, but I'm going to be taking these up here to the mountains and see how they do. And uh, this is a company called Binks, and Binks, they make uh, different kinds of spoons. They make these really nice bass spoons. Whee! This is them right here. So those are jigging spoons. I will white bass the crap out of these guys, trust me. I'm just going to say thank you to Binks for, for sending me these, these spoons. I love fishing spoons. And if literally you could take one lure to a survival situation, I think it would be a spoon. Just get you like a nickel plated spoon and you can catch just about anything. So there's two different categories. These are the ones that are made for crappie. I know because there's a crappie face right on the package. I really could have used these the other day actually. I found some crappie that are like 30 feet deep. I did actually catch uh, one of them on a, on a blade bait. Um, but these are quarter ounce and these are going to be really good for fishing the trout and salmon. I'm hoping that there's some colors in here. They have some funky colors like maybe something with some orange in the belly. There's one that's kind of a, a fire tiger. That'll probably be good. So that was perfect timing. Oh, they even have eighth ounces. Oh, this one will do right here. Look at this. Little eighth ounce. Wa-bam! So they sent me a bunch of these. I'll, I'm going to actually take those up to the mountains. They have the swivels, the barrel swivel, on the front split ring, which I almost always add that anyways to my spoons because you get a lot of line twists when you don't have them. Also, it just helps keep the fish on. Like when they start twisting around, especially trout, salmon, oh my gosh, they're just jumping and flipping and twisting all around. And then when that line gets a lot of twist in it, then sometimes it puts leverage on the hooks and they can, they can pop out. So I'm gonna put them in my, uh, my little squad box here, these little ice boxes that fit perfectly in my fanny pack. I'll rig OSG up with one and that way we can, uh, we can basically shoreline fish together with uh, with these spoons. The way that I kind of talk myself down, I've gone to a couple traps to try. Got the old coffee grinder, ready to grind out some delicious mountain meat fish. Ready to go. I got a ton more stuff to do inside though. Unbelievable how much more stuff is involved with bringing the wife along with this camping trip. OSG is kind of, uh, she's like type A and very Organized. I like to rough it a little bit, you know. If I have to chew on some bark every once in a while, it makes me feel alive. But OSG, she's kind of got every meal of the day planned. We take the meats and we vacuum seal in the kitchen with OSG. I think you people know are gonna start singing along <laughs> with your jingles. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> It's like, have you ever seen a camping meal so beautiful? No, I haven't. This is your first time going deep woods, like camp cooking. Yeah. You might be. This could be like my jam. This could be your deal. It yeah. could be. It could be. But yeah, one second, honey, one second. I had a babysit me this morning, by the way. Yes. And uh, I did a pretty good job. Mom needed I feel some like. time to herself. I did, I did a pretty good job. So if you got a few surprises in store for us for the camp kitchen, Surprises. You're already laying out. I think you're just going to be overwhelmed Look at with the this. amazing food that you're going to be getting on this camping trip. That is definitely what I was missing <laughs> last time. I'm looking forward to hiking and eating. <laughs> is that what it's about? That's what it's going to be about. My mission on this channel, you guys are used to all the outdoor activities. I'm going to be trying to find, uh, I got inspired last time as I was roaming around in the woods and looking at the maps, like seeing these different streams and different uh, mountain lakes that were around where I was. And I want to see if there's fish in there, I, you know, just go explore lakes that may have not been fished in forever, or just rarely fished. OSG is going to be fishing for the first time in the mountains as well and fly fishing. We're taking the fly rods. There's just going to be a lot of good outdoor content. And then on the camp scene, 
I think OSG has, has been super inspired. I mean, look have, at the organization. Look at this. It's basically meals prepped every day. We're talking, you got biscuits in there, chili, some rolls, hopefully some delicious breakfasts. So we're going to burn some calories, hiking around in the woods. Hopefully we don't freeze. I know it's been in the 20s up there. We're going to see how she handles it, but it's primitive. We're going primitive. She thinks she can do it. If we make it out alive, we'll have a better marriage. Is that what this is? This is a team bonding exercise? Uh, well, you know, they got things like this. I know they do. But you like pay a couple thousand dollars to go. Yeah. Whereas they, we are just doing it on our own. We're just going, getting in a truck and going somewhere. It's what they used to do back in the day. I think this entire week like leading up to it has been team bonding too. Cause it's like, I got food. Do you guys? It has been. Primitive camping. When you have to, well, in this case, we're not really relying on me catching the fish. Like, we catch <laughs> fish. Well, that's great. We'll eat them at camp. But uh, you have everything taken care of there. But there's other things that go along with it. You know, gathering the firewood, making sure we are warm and, you know, the bears don't eat us and things like that. You know, that's my job. I'm counting on you. That's my that. job. I got you covered, babe. I just think it's going to be a very interesting experience because you've never been super deep in the woods I haven't. and I haven't even been like to the it, mountains it's it's always an escape for me whenever i go on a big hunting trip or a fishing trip you know bond with the the nature myself and this time we're going to do it together and i've always thought like it'd be so cool if my girls were here to see this now amy you're not going to this time yeah you're pointing now we Poke. know but <laughs> osg you're a mama She's going to experience it. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to get away and escape for a couple days. Come back a newly refreshed woman. You might look like a bear. I might. Are you ready for that? <laughs> Roll around in the mud. Get crazy with the creatures out there. And all that time in the woods. Didn't get an elk. Brought home some good trout and salmon. Never got an elk, but it's a good thing I got a buddy that did. <laughs> I got to experience elk hunting and I still got the meat. So it was kind of a win. This is straight up bra back straps. This is probably like a good 20 pounds of meat. Gotta make a move over here to make things easier to loading up. And I gotta clean it out for OSG. I got crust in here. I basically never clean my truck, so you know she's got a new car now. She's used to all that fanciness. I gotta at least clean up the uh, fish scales and the the you know squirrel turds out of here. Kind of like the system, y'all. The way it all just rolls in together. I got the one of those giant husky bins that goes all the way to the back. That's got the tent, all the tent accessories. Um, I've got an extra part of the tent that I haven't even used yet. We're gonna be setting up on this trip. Got the stakes on top. Those are so heavy, and I've got even more. Got so much more cooking gear on this trip. We're gonna be doing a lot of cooking. We just got uh, some clothes and. You know, just detailing, getting getting everything uh, we absolutely need in our packs, including all our, our knives, first aid kits, everything like that. Uh, I'm a little nervous. Uh, I want to make sure she's going to be comfortable and want to go camping in the future. I think we have big plans for camping. She says she wants to, so you know, I want to make her first experience out in the primitive wild pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to be carrying my big pack on this trip. I'm going to go with my a smaller pack I've got here. I'm, I'm carrying my bigger puffies this time, rain gear. So thanks for coming along on today's vlog. The big journey starts tomorrow. We are hitting the road. OSG, where are you at? You right coming here. in? I'm here. Are you ready? I am. I'm going from mom mode to campfire mode. Wow. <laughs> do I know this woman? I don't think you do. My gosh! 
All right, so y'all want to stay tuned for that long car ride ahead. I hope you're, I hope you're ready for that. We're gonna be vlogging the whole experience on both channels. Click them down below and subscribe, and we will see you out in the woods.